Well, this is going back many, many years. I was born in, on the 10th of February, 1940, Wednesday, and it was raining. All my dates are Wednesday and it was raining. So if you don't remember the date, you'll remember it was Wednesday and it was raining. Um, my mother died when I was one year old, and my father had six children, and he was a lazy son of a soldier, and he got rid of everybody. Those that could work went to work. My, one of my brothers went to a farm in Devon, and uh, working on a farm because it was wartime, and they adopted him, and he remained there until he died at age 40. He had heart trouble, and... Um, the, um, the other brother died of a brain tumour and that left my brother, who is still alive today in England, and one sister, I had two sisters. There was shortage of uh, orphanages for women and so they were put into a mental home temporarily and they ended up being institutionalised. One of them died, the one that's alive now it's difficult to even have a conversation with her, you know, so she doesn't, she doesn't know who I am. So, um, when I was age three, I went from the nursery where I was put first to an orphanage in Ashton in Essex. Ashton's a tiny little village that uh, is that small, there's humpback mice there. I mean, it's very small and the, the orphanage was perched right on top of a hill, very steep hill, and it's classed as a one in 10 hill, so I'll give you some idea how steep it is. One in ten means one in ten people don't make it. Anyway, so uh, we're, I'm in this big orphanage here and, uh, um, and that's the only life I knew. And I remember when I went there I was given this great big teddy bear which had one arm missing. It was full of wood shavings and it had been sewn many times. No fur on it, it was all like sacking. No eyes, they were crayoned in. But it was mine, and I liked this chap. I used to hug him, and 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 and, 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 and he was mine. And then when I went into the playroom, there's a big old rocking horse there, and everyone who goes to that orphanage, when and they see that, they want to climb on it and and ride it. Rocking horses go back to the early days of the gentry. And by having a rocking horse, once they be, it would train them eventually to ride a horse. And so they've already got that motion going, you know. Anyway, I climbed on this and then one of the big boys come along and told me to get off because it was his turn. And uh, eventually it turned out that he was my brother. I had no idea I, was, I had a brother. And uh, one day when I was eight years old, I was arguing with this chap about this yellow pickup truck that I used to love to play with. He took it off me and said he was going to play with it and I said no it's mine, I was playing with it. The assistant matron come along and she's one of these little dumpy ladies that was sort of that rough, she was thrown out the SS for being too rough, you know. And she came along and, and said enough of that, snatched it off me and gave it to, my, to Doug, the other chap. And, uh, and as she walked away I said you only gave it to him because he's big and ugly. She came marching back to me, waving her finger in my face, saying, that's no way to talk to your brother. And we both stood there, froze, looked at each other, and we said, brother? What? What's a brother? She said, it means he's related to you. He's got the same name, which I knew. And it was like, I, I still didn't get it, you know, and eventually, you know, he, he, my brother said, I'm related to you? I said, no, I'm related to you. And so he gave me the little pickup truck back again and we, he became a friend and started looking after me more, you know. So that's how I knew I had a brother in the same orphanage when I was eight. And I always thought I was alone in the world. But the orphanage was, uh, it was a, a place that we, the, the only life we knew. We had to walk down this steep hill to go to the village school and then walk all the way up it after school. And um, the children in the village used to call us the homeboys. And we used to call them the village kids. And they were always picking on us and we were trying to pick on them, but we were out outnumbered. But uh, it got some fun memories of the Ashton Orphanage. 
And there was one little old lady that uh, lived in the village called Mrs. Woodley. And she used to come in and walk into the, up the hill every day or cut through the wheat field, cornfield, to come to the orphanage and help out. And she was like fairy godmother. And everyone loved her and uh, she did everything she can to help us. And she became, uh, my brother and I, guardian angel.